welcome back to another vid guys this one's going to be something quite different for us but also a bit of an introduction to you to a new member of the family and it's old mate behind me yep we've got a sailfish um so we can do some more overnight trips out to the reef and stuff now what we're going to do we're out here now we're going to do our first overnighter in the in this new boat um so we're a bit of a mess we've got stuff everywhere we don't really know what we need but it's going to open up heaps more opportunities for us to get out and explore and would you look at it mate have a look at this but we're just anchored now we're going to have lunch swim around kids will play and then we'll pick up a mooring over here tonight and we'll spend the night the weather's supposed to be delicious for the next two days not too focused on fishing just having good family fun snorkeling i might dive in with a spear gun see what happens and let the kids jump off the um the roof and stuff righto go <laughs> how are you going back bit green i'm feeling a little better it was a little bit lumpy on the way over and i stopped to catch a tuna which i'll show you now go bill you're on to it son what do you reckon tuna hey no hey you halfway out the reef we just stopped to uh, throw a slug at some birds and billy's straight on yeah buddy a barramundi i think it's a barramundi okay, okay. you come away from the moment in the river walk down the back if you want the hey billy get him up mate that's it okay, good job You got him. You want to swap? Give Jack a go? Yes. Yeah. Oh, you're right. You get him in? Alright. Up. And then one. And up. Walk this way. Come over here. Try some other fish on There you go. Fighting over this side. One down. Lift up. One down. Ow. Move your fingers. There we go. One down. Lift up. And one down. Up. Ready, one down. Okay. Get that net, bro. So can I try and net it? Oh, okay. Yeah, ready? Oh, come on, come on. Throw it around again. Just wait, 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 wait. You ready? Yep. Yep. Ready? Him up. Oh, yes. Ah, how good's that, lads? What is it? That's a long tail tuna. Sashimi heaven, mate. This is what we had the other night with that sashimi, lads. Really? Yeah. Oh, all right. Grab me them pliers, Rui. Yeah. How are you first long tail tuna, Bill? Look at it doing the dance. <laughs> all right, we're gonna bleed that up. We'll cut up some fresh sashimi tonight. That's your first fish in this boat. I'm actually pretty stoked for that. Nice long tail tuna, but we're gonna have to um, get back on me um, secret um, sea sickness pills. Even though I didn't have one today because it's not rough, but just crooks the dog. How are you feeling, Roo? All right. All right? I just heard him say he's feeling a bit green too. Anyway, we'll get going. Oh, so happy. Long tail. Hey, Bill! Give us a shot, get for your first fish in the boat! Yes! Have a look at her. <laughs> She's a bit green. Ow. Hey, how's the colours, mate? Have a look at this. How does uh, that happen? Hey? How does it work? That's the reef, baby. How oh, good. Everyone happy? Yes! Everyone except old Bill out the back there. How you going, dear? <laughs> no She's response. so annoying. <laughs> oh, look at it. Beautiful. It is so beautiful. Yes. I don't know if you can see them bombies, but look. Mate. Dad, look at that big one right ahead, too. Oh, it's that good. Dad, there's a bombie right ahead, too. Anyway, um, yeah, I'll give you a quick run through of this boat, uh, what we're going to do for the night. And yeah, look forward to more missions out here on this big rig, eh? 
All right, so I'll tell you a little bit about this boat. It's actually, we bought it second hand. Um, it's only, well, what is it, four or five years old. You've got about 400 hours on the motors. It's a Sailfish S8. So that's a aluminium, like a plate alloy catamaran. So I tested a heap of boats and stuff between mono hole plate boats and fiberglass cats and all this sort of stuff. And anyway, for me, this one come out on top for ride quality, layout, and um, suits our needs for what we're gonna do, right? So here's a quick look, the Sailfish S8. Now, um, because it was second hand, there's a few things on it that we are gonna modify to suit our own needs. So, so the first one we're gonna do is actually put um, some of the foam decking on. We're gonna get DC Deco to um, scan the boat and put the new um, adhesive foam flooring all over the boat. Now that not only insulates it to stop it being hot, but it provides you like it's soft underfoot and um, it's also um, cool to stand on that. So that'll be good for the kids doing this. So we're gonna do this whole floor. Like it's got like an epoxy floor on it. The black flake and it gets a bit hot underfoot as well. So that's the first thing we're gonna change. And then the second, uh, we're gonna up our game on the um, off-grid battery system in it so we can do sort of these reef campouts and reef sleeps and have plenty of battery power to run fridges and fans and um, sounders and all that. And um, the third one on the front, because um, once you start fishing with an electric motor and spot lock and anchor mode and all that, I find it hard now. I just love spot locking on my marks and fishing on them. So we're going to put a big Alecki motor on the front of this thing. Uh, still haven't decided yet whether it's the new Minn Kota or the Kraken, the Garmin Kraken, but we'll see what's going to suit this cut front of this boat best. Anyway, that's the plans. Rough plans. Pretty sick, eh? How good's the Great Barrier Reef? Send it. Oh my God! That's so nice! Hello, go root. Three, two, one, go. How nice is it? Yeah, it's nice. All right, Carly can go quite deep down, so I'm gonna see how far she's gonna. Yeah, and Billy, they're gonna both go down. Oh, it's hard to tread water. We've got to go down and see how far we can go down and grab some sand. Okay, go! Yeah, I'll give you a quick tour inside while well, I'm going to get lunch for the kids. Uh, here's the cockpit area. Got dual controls for the twins. You got steering, all these switch panels, Furuno sounders and Garmin gear, and um, autopilot. How good's autopilot? I've never had it before. Got a nice big roof hatch here for air. Um, the um, UHF or the Marine uh, VHF UHF Fusion stereo. I've put a couple of fans in. Uh, I've got one in here, uh, Sirocco fans, just like the caravan. And another one under here for the bunk room. Now down here you can see, uh, we've got all that stuff in here, so it's a bit of a mess, but that's where you're gonna um, sleep in here for three of us. I've got some infill cushions and that there. There is a dunny up under there. So you have got a dunny with a direct discharge, so you just press a button and it chews it up and spits it out. And over here, we're about to have lunch. It's got a little pie oven. Hey, look at this. Yeah. So that's us. How good. It takes like an hour and a half, two hours by the time you get on the ramp and get out of here. So by the time you get here, you've got pies and sausage rolls ready to go. How good. Now I've got two fridges in at the moment because I didn't know how much stuff we're going to need. I'm going to run just the one bigger fridge, but anyway. There you go. Let's quick look around. Pretty sick, eh? Good vision, good flow. There's heaps of lights in here. Heaps of storage under the seats and everything. Come out here, got another big fridge under here. Um, all my tackle in there, couple of seats. And then yeah, stereo lights. Hey, 
like it? I love it. It's that good, eh? It's so good. Oh, mate. It's so good. All right, lunchtime. Who wants pie? Me. 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 Me to eat one. Ooh, you want pie? Do we have tomato sauce? Yeah, of course we do. All right, let's get that. Okay. I, I got some. Mm. I got a yellow fish with lots of purple dots on it. And it was really cute. It was so small. There's more in there. Well, the kids smashed all them, so I'm gonna load the rest of the box up. Good thing about this, man, like we've never had one before, but on the boat, when you need to really simplify everything, um, this is bloody good. So I'll be able to load this up now. We'll go snorkeling for the next few hours, jumping, try a few different bombies, and then um, when the kids are fanging for another feed and sabo. I'll just go, hoi, hop into some of these. Hop, <laughs> hop, hock, get, get into some of these. Anyway, now we'll pie oven. Done. We just moved spots and uh, I'm gonna get the drone up because it's, if there was ever a time to use the uh, phrase drone worthy, this is it. You should, it's hectic mate. Ankle up in a sand patch. Enough rope out Let's just go. to hang the outboards yeah. over the coral. There's like two meters under the back. Kids can dive in here, and then that reef there is like a meter and a half. Like perfect snorkeling stuff. I just, can you believe we're the only ones here? I know. This is like, like the like middle of Easter school holiday. Easter Wednesday, yeah. High five. Ah, life doesn't get much better. I'll show you where I'm keeping the swag. I've just got it tied up on top here. I've got one of the double swags because there's three of us will sleep up the front here under this berth and I'll have to put a double swag on the back deck there. It'll fit, no worries, but I think two of the kids are going to go in there. And then up the top, we've just been throwing, we've got some outdoor bean bags that the kids sit on and stuff, but they get all wet. So when we pull up, we'll just chuck them on the roof and they dry out. Happy days, hey? I told you it was good. All right, I'm gonna take the young fella, me and Jack are gonna go for a swim and see if we can't get some. There's a heap of um, Spanish flag and also um, some mother-in-law fish, so pretty easy to shoot. Good for uh, teaching the young fella. Good for me too, because I'm not real good at it, but anyways, we'll go for a look. I'd love to get the boys into it a bit more. Yeah. You ready? You always got to swim in front of me, I'll stay behind you. Mm -hmm. Okay? So come for a swim and then I'll load it for you. Hey, you got a fishy! Spanish yeah. flag for Rooster! Woo. Oh, come here, darling. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. How did that hit you in the mouth? It re, um, recoil. Oh, recoil. You hold your hand out. I knew oh. that would happen. Oh, you got a fat lip. Oh, Dude, come here! Oh, it feels big in an accident. Give me a look. Is my teeth still there? Smile. Oh, you got the fattest lip coming along. Oh, okay. Oh, Take your fish, bro. You did it. Oh. Show Bill. There you go. Hold Woo. it up. Woo! Well See done, it. Rui. Oh, my God. Right yeah. next to the eye. Wow. Yeah. Oh, fat lip. <laughs> Not at all. Uh, <laughs> oh, I can feel it. Oh. How did that hit you in the mouth? Wow. Mm. Uh. I saw it come right at my face. <laughs> anyway. Well done, sweetie. Happy days. <laughs> you feel right. Happy days. Can you look? That was quick. We jumped uh, in one way. There was a shark one way, so we swam the other way. Oh, and uh, really nailed his first Spanish flag. Give us a look. And he also copped his first recoil on the lip. <laughs> <laughs> Just look at your lip. Oh, oh you split it a bit too. Down. Oh, it stings. <laughs> oh, I touch it. <laughs> Alright, that's probably my fault. Should have told him to keep his arms straighter. Next time, you still keen to like go that. again? Bang. Yeah, I'll go Good again. Good shot though, hey? It was about probably six metres um... away and it was ducking away and he followed it and boom. There you go. 
It was going it's like, it was tell. going down and it was like turning and I just And um Jack's gonna fill it that up and eat that for dinner. So even better. They're bloody good eating, eh? They call them stripies or Spanish flag. And uh they're actually really good eating. Super nice white reef fish flesh. So that'll do. I should give you a bit of info on this while I got you here. Dad, it was a It is a aim right rail gun. So an 1100 and it's got a um, a reel on it as well. So I sort of I hit up the lads at aim right and I said, oh, I'm like a very amateur spearfisher and I only spear shallow water, but I want something with enough punch to like get a trout or a cod or a spango or, you know, like stripies, that sort of stuff. But if there's something bigger that comes along, you want to be able to still have a shot as well. Anyway, you guys, this is probably the, the ideal thing for you because it's got enough punch with the double rubbers and the length and the spear, but it's also got the reel on it. So if you do, you know, find a Spanish mackerel or something when you're in sort of six to eight meters of water and you do see them swim past on the flats out here, um, that you can have a shot at it and still have a chance of reeling it in. So anyway, I'll try and find the specs and put it down here, but it seems um, it's good. And apart from having a bit of recoil, smacks Jacko in the lip, which he'll, he'll sort out. Yeah. I'm um, pretty stoked with it, it's nice and light. Tucks away down there, it's not too hard to load. Just need to get, I do have a suit, like a top too, with a chest plate in it, but I forgot to bloody bring it, but I can still load it off my hip, so. I like it. That's dinner for the rooster. <laughs> the bit that hit me was the bit back here, this bit. I reckon yeah. that bit right in the face. <laughs> ah, there you go. You'll be able to teach people how to do it, yeah? So don't hold that in front of your face. It's a good story when you go I back. should have held it back here. So nah, yeah. you got it. Yeah, but I think lock your elbow. Yeah, because so I went like that. And, yeah. Good story when you I go back. Test you test got him square in the middle too. Hey, <laughs> story for school. Yeah. <laughs> so Alright, it's time to moor up. Got old love on the job. How do you reckon you'll go, babe? Yeah, I'll be alright. Don't drop that. She's done it before on the cat. Huh? Said you've done it before on the catamaran. Anyway, what you do is you motor up to these mooring boys and there's a big, big rope in the water and you use this hook here just to hook it up, drag it up through your bow spit and then throw your own mooring rope on there. So we'll do that and then we'll be set for the night. Hey! Well done! Round two on the party pies. Becky Boo's just moored us up and we're tired off. And you should have seen as soon as we got here and picked up that mooring boy, a big shark swam around. So I reckon obviously people are coming in here and cleaning fish and whatever, chucking it out. So this big shark come up straight away. So I'll see if I can put this drone up and show you. But um means no swimming for the rest of the RVA. Hey? <laughs> Pie's a good button. Jeez, this thing is mint. You might have to put one of these in the ute, babe. Shit. Bit hot, dear. Oh my god. <laughs> so as soon as we pulled up here, we had bull sharks sniffing around the back of the boat, swimming underneath. And then, so I put the drone up and he just taken off to do a bit of a, a cruise around the reef, like a patrol, and then he starts coming back. I'm pretty sure uh, from the top down, these look like bull sharks, but let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. But uh, yeah, there was a couple of honkers, eh, that started cruising around in here. And they just sniffed around the back of the boat all the time, so we really didn't feel comfortable having a swim at sunset. So I wouldn't recommend doing that if you pull up a mooring out here in the bunker group. But then um, I've managed to get the GoPro in, uh, and just get a sneak peek of him, but I didn't do a real good job, but yeah, you'll see he's quite a big shark. Well, I'll show you something else this boat's got. It's got a fresh water pump. So we can have a fresh water shower before we go to bed. How good. Charlie's having the first one. Yeah. So sick. I can't go to sleep all salty and stuff. Uh, so yeah, this would be so nice just to have a fresh water shower on board. It's like, I think it's like 80 litre tank under the front. It's pretty good. And it's got a salt water one too. So you've got salt water deck wash and salt water wash there for your cutting board. And you've got fresh water here. And then you've got a little sink over this side. And it's, um, 
it's fresh water as well in here so you can do your do your dishes and wash your hands and stuff i like it Here's that tuna. We are gonna, um, well, I'm gonna cut some of this up nice and fine. Like, just like this, ready? Mm. That's the sashimi. Fresh tuna, fresh long tail tuna. Don't get much better than that. Well, it does. You need a bit of like, uh, wasabi, soy, uh, aioli. Goes better, but anyway. <laughs> We're gonna bring tuna. everything. We do, <laughs> we need to start leaving it at the boat. Yeah. And that is delicious. Can I try some? Wait, is it red? It's creepy. Yeah, come over here. Yeah. Really? Don't like it? Chuck it over. It's not for me. <laughs> <laughs> Can I try a bit of fresh? Yeah. Yeah, if you want. I sort of have to try it now that Jack's tried it and he doesn't like it. I'm like... It's okay. I think I'd like it yeah. if we had soy sauce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nate and Ella were smashing at the other night. I know. A bit. A bit more, I think. Oh, it's good. Oh, like I like it. You had like Nate an inch of it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had like this much. I think the soy like sauce it. and stuff would help. Yeah. Hey, yuck. Oh, that sun stuff will look good. Yeah. First fish of the sunset, Arvo session, mate. It's a Hello, little stripey. Fishy. I reckon they're gonna get bigger. I think we'll go all right. That'll be a good fish. Oh, <laughs> oh really? Oh, maybe it is a shark. Oh, What'd you have on? A bit of tuna? Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah, get him up, son. Yeah. You get some line on him, you're doing all right. Go, go, go. Oh, yeah, no, you yeah. lost him again. What is doing? That's three times for you, Jacko. Oh, well, that was, I had a, Must I be had a big a gummy bear shark or something. What's a gummy bear? So annoying. Oh, my lip. You did it to me. I'm going to shoot it. That's what her name is. That's what her name is. Mate, how is that sunset? That is ridiculous. <laughs> hey? Good. Shower's on the back deck. I'm about to get the cooker out. I've just got me a little cooker that I've used on my other boat. I've got snags, chicken kebabs, a couple of cold beers. I'll flick the lights on. No, uh, we're not doing too good fishing. We've caught a couple of little things. Jack's been sharked again. And, uh, so many times. So many times, he reckons. But yeah, we're just going to chill out. And we'll start packing our beds and we're we'll setting up our beds, setting up the bed for the night and chill out. I reckon once the sun goes down, we've had dinner. We downloaded some movies on an iPad, so the kids might have a like, quiet little movie night inside. And me and the miss I can sit outside here and have a squid. I hope I get some squid. Never had an underwater light in my boat before. I've got one on this, so hopefully that's the turning point. But how's that? Can't complain with that, eh? Bloody hell. Oi, dinner time. Check this out. Got a perfect spot for the cooker on the back deck. Yeah. Gonna do snags and chicken kebabs. And then look, I found another spot to hang the little navigator kitchen. It's got me tongs and spices and knives and forks and everything in it. We're gonna keep it simple. This was Beck's request. I wanted to go like grand jour and cook up a big five course meal in here, but she's like, ah, keep it simple. I know, I know. I'd argue with her to get some salad. Can you believe that? Anyway, look, snaggles, put them on there. And then uh, kids are having sausage and bread. Me and Beck are just having these. They are like a marinated chicken kebab. Anyways, chuck them on fry them up and then um, yeah kick back here is this not one of the meat the most picturesque can i speak picturesque spots you've ever ever had you know it's pretty good eh? swing around here jacko come around the back side here look at that cooker sunset great barrier it goes all right
boy, come and check out the kids. Here we go. I'm gonna set them up with a movie. What he's watching? Voltron. Voltron. Can you turn that light on really up above you? Press that one. Yep, push it. Ready and oh there you go. How good? Is it nice in there, comfy? Yeah, it's comfy. Oh. It looks massive. There you go. I'm back out here. Oh, the sunset is still going. Dinner is oh. served. I feel like, is this mine? Yeah, she, we're not gonna have enough sauce. Sorry, quick eat. Um, because I forgot about the party pies. That's all right. Oh, hot dog. Bon appetit. It is bon appetit, dear. There you go. Hey, a couple of chicken snags. No, chicken skewers for me and the miso. Snags. There you go. Yeah, thank you. Keep it simple, she reckons. I reckon it goes alright yeah, too. It's fine. What do you reckon about our um, first overnighter in the boat? Other than my seasickness on the way out, <laughs> um, I love it. It'll be a different story once we've actually slept on the boat tonight. Yeah. I think it's going to take a bit of experience to like mm. get comfortable with um, like sleeping and whatnot. And the I'm noises. I'm super lucky. Well, I'm glad we're on a mooring. Mm. I'd be a bit more worried if we're on anchor. But yeah, the noises are just the water slapping against the boat. I think that's going to be a bit different, but other than that, we're warm, we're yeah. dry, we've got full bellies, got comfy beds. It's very um, convenient. Great. Everything, yeah. And when we turn these lights off, wow, the stars, mate. I'd love to take some photos, mm. but like, the boat's constantly swinging around, so you're never going to be able to take a good starry night shot. But the Milky Way is just here, and it's so nice. Mm. Anyway, I think we'll call, well, can't really call it till the morning, but first trip's a success. Mm. A couple of things, we've been writing notes. Yeah, we probably won't sleep that well tonight, but... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> need a few extra things, a bit of storage, a few things to leave in the boat. Mm. But yeah, yeah keeping like, um, I think we've done pretty well. Happy days. Mm. All right, we'll see you at sunrise. Cheers, kebab. Cheers. Oh yeah. Okay. This is the first, lads. Yeah. 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 That's the Double swag set up on the boat. Yeah. Dad, yeah, what's the small end? Mom can't figure it out. Uh, oh, that's the small end. The one that says ARB on it is the small end. This end down here yeah, is the small end. Okay. Here she is. It's a little bit too big, dear. What is? The swag. Yeah, that's alright. We'll just pick <laughs> another option. I think we need a couple of single mattresses or something down each side. Oh, it's okay. That thing is huge in here. I made it to fresh water. Nighty night. I'll show you our quick little um, sleeping setup. It's got me, the bear, the boo. Beggy boo. And then uh, <laughs> the life pad hanging out from under the... Uh, the little roof hatch there. Anyway, it's so early. It's like eight o'clock. I know, but it's um, I don't know. I'm knackered. Big day in the sun. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. I reckon I'll sleep alright if I can get past. Um, I shall need earplugs. I think the water knocking against the hull gets a bit loud. How do you reckon you'll sleep? Alright. I'll I'll not off. I'll go to sleep. Yeah. yeah. I just don't want to have to get up and go to the toilet. Yeah. Because she's gonna have to move me. Because <laughs> the toilet's right under me. <laughs> Which is gonna uh, be really annoying if she wakes me up. Anyway, we'll figure it out. Um, we'll see you in the morning. Sunrise. I did see the stars. Yeah, it's pretty good, eh? Oh, sunrise. How's it? Well, I haven't been this tired for a long time. Far out. I did not sleep well at all. I had a good sleep. I did. Yeah, the kids did. Oh. You right? Uh, How'd you sleep? Not very good. No. Oh, it was a bit rough. Oh, man. It wasn't supposed to be this rough. It was supposed to be like no wind. Oh, there's wind. Anyway, we'll get this swag packed away out the back here and then we can um, have some brekkie and chuff off. 
Well, we're gonna send it home. We were gonna have brekkie here, but um, it's a little bit. Lumpy. Uh, yeah, the weather forecast not as good as what it says it is, so it's quite uncomfortable um, sitting out here. And normally it's nicer in the morning, and then the wind picks up. So I'm picking the wind's gonna get worse. But anyway, it's nice and early. We're just gonna shoot back and then hide inside a creek for a bit, and um, probably cook up breakfast there. But yeah, we did make coffee before we left. We did though. make coffee. <laughs> But that is essential. That's our first overnighter, mate. The new boat. And I, um, I like it. We learn a few it's things. Lovely. Learn yeah. a few things to do. Learn a few things not to do. <laughs> and uh, what to do for next time. But um, anyway, all right. 66 kilometres. Away we go. At least the wind's coming with us. It's always a lot easier when the wind's behind you. Yeah. Let's get into it. Far out. That took a little bit longer than expected. There's about a two hour run. I'm glad we left early because that wind's only picking up. I need to start learning how to read the wind charts a bit better. Everyone's a bit green. Everyone's a bit off dad at the moment because it was my idea to go out. I didn't check the weather well enough. <laughs> ah, like, what are you talking about? We're home. We're sweet as. Check out the lip. Check out the lip today. Yeah, next day. Have a look at it. Can you swing in closer? Look at, look at the fat lip. <laughs> mm. They call that the SGL. It's the spear gun loop. <laughs> well, it hit me. It did hit him. Hey, we didn't eat that fish yet. No. You can eat that tonight. Yeah, fish tacos maybe. Fish tacos. Punch it, Rube. Go. 